Hey, hey, hey everybody, Atomic Crafter here. Welcome back. So as you can see, I'm back at the iron farm here, uh, and in my hand I've got some glass. So what does that mean? Uh, that means we're going to be putting up a villager pin and hopefully bringing some villagers over. Yeah, and today we're going to try something special and try not to die. <laughs> So, with all that being said, and the sun rising in the background there, uh, it should be a good day. So, let's get started and see what we can do here. That is actually nice and pretty over there, isn't it? Alright, so let's throw my gear on. I do have uh, all diamond gear again. It's, it's definitely not up to par yet. Uh, but the helmet was the only thing that I had saved last time. So all of this is getting there, but uh, it's not there yet. And uh, I've got everything I need to put uh, up the, uh, the villager holder. And uh, I've got the obsidian for the portal. And I've got some rails and stuff to try to do some uh, villager moving. But I think boats are what I'm going to have to do it with. So let's get down here and put this uh, pin up here real quick. Let me get some dirt on my hot bar here so that we can uh, oh there we go so that we can figure out where we need to be here so that's there so I want to be here all right yep that's it and we're just gonna swing around the outside here last time I tried to get it from up above there and I just quite couldn't reach that lip so We'll come around. Not a big deal. Alright. So let's actually go out one more. Okay. And if I remember right, it's the third door in. Let's see. So, three, four, yeah. So we want to put glass right here. And we want six of them. So two, three, four, five, Six, not quite. Can't reach that sixth one there. So I'm actually going to uh, take that dirt out and put some more glass along here. All right. And that should be the third one, yep. Okay, and then we're going to come out one more than this because we're going to leave the villagers with a um it's it's a two by eight area too high to stand in so let's see that's those yeah we do this all the way around here and so basically they'll just be spending their entire life right here and i'm going to bring this out to here Bring this out to here, and then this is where the portal's going to stand. So the portal will actually bring it up to two levels. So once I bring the villagers in, um, they will drop down two levels into this little pit here, and they won't be able to get out. So that uh, worked really well for me last time. Uh, we'll see how it goes again. <laughs> Just because it worked well once doesn't mean it is again, but we'll see. And uh, let's see, we want to leave those like that. And let's see. I'm trying to remember now how I did it down below. It seems like I came up one higher even. And then I topped it off across actually here. And then I actually put another level across the top there, but that was only so that I could access, I could walk up there. All right. Let's start throwing the portal in here and see what it looks like. So we've got two here. Uh, we've got two there, two here, one here, one here. Okay. Let's put some more glass. Actually, yeah, we can put glass here. Up. Oh, oh, bummer. Here. 
And... Yeah, that'll be alright. That's alright. Hopefully I catch this. Yay! <laughs> uh, the simple things, right? Alright, so... Now I actually want to come back down to here and use the cobble to give me a little lip out back here. Because sometimes when they come in, um, they're too close to the back wall and I can't get behind them. So with this back here, usually they, they'll just stand here and I can come in from behind and push them into the into the little holding cell there. All right, moving right along. Haven't fallen yet today. <laughs> All right, we'll put one there and the last two, we'll go ahead and light this up. Now the portal in the nether is the same portal that I used for this one down here. Uh, the Y value is literally the only thing that's changed. So I'm expecting this one to hook up with that one exactly. And because I don't trust zombies and whatnot, I'm going to seal this off back here. And um, probably light it up as well. Not that it needs that much light, but I really don't want any zombies spawning up here. Alright, now let's check this out. So, see now, now the reason that I did this was so that I could actually access the villagers if I needed to. Um, bad idea? Maybe. Because if I put the row of glass here, uh, then literally nothing can get into them. But if something happens to come from above, open one of those doors, come over here, open one of these doors, a baby zombie could get in here and kill him. So I'm not 100% sure, but uh, hoping for the best. All right, let's see where we go here. Perfect. It's exactly where I wanted to be. All right, so that's this is basically one of my straight hallways, uh, and I blocked this off so the villagers didn't go running off that way. And I had absolutely zero problems last time. Uh, the only thing I've got to worry about right now is that I've had ghasts spawning in here uh, because I haven't made this spawn proof yet. So down here, uh, let me grab a boat. Just so I have one. Um, down that other corridor there is where... No boats, huh? I wonder what I did with them all. Hmm. Well, anyway, uh, down here is where the uh, villager breeder is. Or the portal to it, at least. So we'll come in here. And uh, our farmer villager did grow up. And I did put him out in the pen there. Out there. And uh, he's been doing great. And I've got a few guys sitting here. And this is my uber guy right here. This is my librarian with a mending trade for 12 emeralds. Holy cow. Somebody's dying. Oh, there's a baby out there uh, drowning. That's the one thing about this uh, design is... Um, that sometimes they will get caught in between... I just want to make sure there's no creepers around. In between the water here and the glass that's right next to it. And they'll just stop and drown right there instead of bounce up and down or sit in the little holding cell underneath that piece of water. Not quite sure how to fix that. Uh, but it doesn't happen a lot. I mean, uh, you know, there's always losses, right? So... Here are these guys, and with him here, I'm not exactly sure how to move these guys. <sighs> so, well, let me make some boats. Actually, I think I do know a way. But it won't work with him there. Uh, let's see. Okay, so let's make some boats.
Don't think I'll need that many, but it's always nice to have. <laughs> now, what I'm thinking is if I can... Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do that. Let's, uh... Try... Filling that in. Well, then I wouldn't be able to get out here, would I? What if I did right here? Hey, that worked. Oh, I got two of them. Well, that's not bad either. Let me block this door up so they don't go running out. Alright, and we'll break this. Hopefully. Sorry about that. Let's go ahead and take one of you guys out. Don't go anywhere. Boom. He's gone. Get our boat ready. Stay right there. Alright. Now, he is out. There we go. I'll jump in. And away we go. Now, the only thing about these uh, diagonal tunnels is you bounce into the sides so crazy... <laughs> that it's almost not even worth having. Uh, but it gets there. It gets there. It's once we get over to the straight tunnel is where things start to scream. Alright. Here we go. And... Off we go. Almost not even fun. It was such a short ride. No, 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 no. Oh, you little... All right, that was the other thing that I'm always afraid of. It's the first time anyone's done that. There we go. Come back. All right, now we'll go back up here again. And this time, I'll leave you right there. And I'll put up a wall. Yeah. Where are you going to go now? Ugh, you're still going to be stubborn, aren't you? He does not want to go this way. Hmm. Let's see. I probably... Alright, let me get him in the boat again. We'll bring the boat all the way up here. Now, if I can get out of here. Come on. There we go. You stay there. All right. Now. Sorry, dude. Where are you going to go now? How about a villager breeder? No. <laughs> How about an iron farm? Sorry about that. Now he'll either be down in that hole or he'll be standing here. There he is. And I fell in the hole. Oh my gosh, I went the wrong direction. Holy cow. Alright, let me get up here. Get that Get out of the thing so I don't go. And he is in. Phew. And that's been the most difficult one so far. So, if that's it, that's not bad. Alright, there's one. Now, as soon as I get two in there, I kind of expect them to start breeding. So let's uh, get another one in there. And see how that goes. <laughs> and we do have that. Uh, he was an either an iron worker or a uh, weaponsmith or something that was free over there. So if we're lucky, he's still standing there. Hopefully. <laughs> you never know. Oh, hey, dude. Do you want to go through the... Did I scare you? Yeah, sometimes I scare myself. Hey, that was easy. All right. There we go. I'll 
jump in. Oh, I'll jump in. There we go. And down we go through the corkscrew path here. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, definitely not the way to travel here. All right. But over here now, this is definitely the way to travel. Excuse me. Excuse me. Coming through. Excuse me. Uh-oh. Don't glitch too bad. There we go. Boom. Now you stay there. I'm going to do the same thing just so I don't have to worry about it. Sorry about that. All right. And there goes another one. Let's see. This one seemed to put me in backwards to the way I was coming in the last time. Uh, let me come this way. There we go. And there are now two in there. Yes. I think I'm making this look easy. Because <laughs> it's not. Believe me, it's not this easy all the time. But it's definitely a, a good method to do it. Oh. There we go. Uh, why don't you... Oh, I guess not. All right. Let me clear some of these guys out. Now, here's why I like Smite 5. One-hit kills. If you one-hit kill them, they don't have the opportunity to call others. Hi there, little dude. How you doing? Yes, they're not immune to my wrath. <laughs> but it does make me feel bad too so alright here we go for three and four I believe probably three at least and let's try the boat thing again because that worked really well last time and we got both of them well there you go Hey, that didn't help. Sorry, guys. Yeah, run over there. Quick, hurry, run, run. It's scary. Okay, there we go. Stay right there. I'll be back. Well, this will be four of them. Uh, the villager breeder hasn't gotten too many others that I know of. Well, there was the one uh, baby villager that, that drowned when we first went over there. So hopefully when we come back, maybe they'll have another one. Uh, but even then, I'm going to have to wait for him to grow up. So we might have to stop here with four. And what I might do... I've been thinking about taking that Mending Villager uh, to my base. Now, the problem with that is... Uh, I've been known to lose Villagers. Wow, that was weird. I've been known to lose Villagers on the way to somewhere. And if they're one of my best ones ever... Wow, that was easy. Um, I might lose him. And if I lost him, oh my gosh, that would just be the worst thing ever. Alright, that was easy. There's three of them. Let's stand here for a second and see whether or not these guys will hard up. Doesn't look like it yet. There's 40 doors around there. Nothing yet. Well, let's go back and get that other villager since he's there. And that'll bring us up to four. And then we'll have to uh, wait until I get some more villagers bred up. Why don't you go that way? Go that way. Go that way. Yay! Ice skating with a zombie pigman. Woohoo! 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 Alright, now you just stay right there a second. You got some. Hey! Dude, you're killing me here. That way. That way. That way. That way. That way. That way. Don't move. Thank you. 
All right, and I've got 11 gold nuggets so far. Um, I don't think I've been... I, I, uh, blah, blah, blah. Words, words, words. I don't think I've shown you this since I've taken the roof down. Maybe I have. Uh, but I did put a tunnel on all the diagonal walls as well. So some of them only go to back a little bit. Uh, they'll end up going somewhere. I did put these uh, northwest, east, and south on the ground so that I knew which direction was which because I kept getting lost. Oh, and this is something you haven't seen either. I needed a bunch of nether rack at one point, uh, so I just dug back here, and I've been digging out these rooms. Uh, one reason why is this is going to end up being my ghast farm. Now, a ghast farm sounds kind of scary, but it's not really. Uh, they need five blocks. I think it's it's they are four by four by five wide or something like that. Uh, but they'll spawn in a, in a four block space uh, and their tentacles hang down. Like, like if one spawned in the room above me, uh, you'd see their tentacles. So the best place to stand uh, when you're trying to get some ghasts is right here because you'll either see the ghast here, you'll see the tentacles from being up above, or you'll hear one, which means it should be down here or it's, it's down below in the, in the regular world down there. But uh, this will end up being 75 blocks long and 75 blocks deep. And once it's up and running, uh, I get gas tears like crazy. So uh, this will be the gas farm. And then if they blow up the walls or anything, I usually put netherrack back in there and it starts to look like a war zone. And it actually starts to look pretty cool. So. Uh, that's that's my style of ghast farm and it, it works really 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 well eat some food here but uh, yeah this is this is basically uh, slowly coming together here like I said I haven't done a lot of work in here uh, I have been doing stuff off camera that you guys hadn't seen uh, but I've tried to stop doing that and uh, I'm gonna try to do everything on camera now uh, the last couple of episodes that I put up um, are heavily edited at least the last one is episode 12 um, and it, it was actually a lot of fun so let's go see if they've got any more uh, babies coming up here I hear one I think I do anyway nope not down there Huh. And this, uh, this villager breeder here was done by, oh, I'm going to have to go check now. I think it was Impulse SV, I think, uh, but I don't quite remember, uh, but I will put a link to this farm, uh, in my description and uh, you guys can build it. I, I have done a few different things. Um, I originally had this offshoot thing coming out this direction and I'm like, well, where am I gonna take them? And I'm like, my portal's in there. So I decided to bring it off of here and have it route into the house and drop them down inside there. And so far that's been working well. Uh, you've seen, you know, there was what, four villagers in there, so. And then of course one drowned here, which was sad, but. Uh, that does happen. There's none down there right now that I can see. And these guys are not harding up. So I know that they've been breeding because uh, all of those ones that were in there were all their babies. Hey, how did you get out? Well, that's a fine how do you do. I have no idea where this guy got out from. Huh. Well, I think you're probably lucky, because I think I'll just leave you then. Maybe. I don't know. You might cause problems with my villager breeder. Because they haven't been harding up lately. There's no way to get out of this that I know of. Huh. I wonder if I forgot something here. Left something open and he just wandered on out. 
That's interesting. I did take my two... Did I? Or did, was he in the corner and I just forgot about him? And <laughs> I totally think that's what happened. He was the guy that was standing over here when we took that last guy in. And when I came out, I'm just like, oh, let's wander on. And uh, we brought him out here. Well, well. And he keeps wandering farther away. Holy shnikes. Um... Well, that's interesting. Okay. Well, if he uh, comes back, I'll try to get him through the uh, through the portal. If he doesn't come back, uh, he'll either end up dying by uh, death by husk or zombie, or he'll end up staying alive for a while and then end up dying by husk or zombie or... <laughs> going through the portal here with me. Not sure. Uh, but yeah, this guy here, I'm not sure what to do with him yet. He's he's like the most priceless thing I have right now. So I'm not sure I want to do anything with him. Oh, I'm scared. Because I want to take him over to my base, but I don't know where I'd take him. Let's, uh... Let's go back to my base real quick. See if I can figure out a place where I'd put him. Uh, always a little laggy when I come over here. So I'd have to get him down here. Then get him up here. Oh, by the way, I made a uh, map wall here. Uh, this pretty much shows like my th my three gardens that I have built. I haven't built that one yet. I was going to do that one on camera. Uh, I did put a northeast, west, and south on top of my base, so that it comes out on the map here as well, and tells me which direction I am when I'm up there, because I totally get turned around. If 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 I had a, a diamond shaped building, it might be a little easier because I'd know on the flat side is north or whatever. Uh, when it's all the same side, it's kind of hard to tell. So there's my ice tray down there, and the little village. And then there's the spa pot, spa la <laughs> words. Uh, part of my spawn chunks down here. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, let's find if see if we can find a place for him. I don't know where I want to have enchanting at. Whether I want it down here or upstairs. Down here would be a lot easier because what I could do is I could just kind of break into the wall here. Let's see. That's even uneven. It's even uneven. I could, you know, do something like that. Put him in there and do that. And then maybe even put a little, maybe even a half slab up here or something so that nothing could ever get in there. And then, of course, you'd want to have a torch so that uh, it's bright enough. Not that anything would spawn in there with him, but uh, I could do that. I'd kind of like him roaming around free, but that's super dangerous. So I'm not thinking I want to do that either. Um... Yeah, I definitely wouldn't want him on this floor. One of these floors would be all right, but then again, he'd he'd still have to be like locked in. Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I'd have to do something like this so that he wasn't wandering around. And and and, and in that design, uh, baby zombies could still get him. So I don't like that either. Right now, I think the safest place for him is where he's at. I don't want to touch him for a while. At least not until I get all the mending books that I need. Um, huh. I am not sure. Well, let's see. Let's go check that villager breeder. 
Actually, you know what? Since the spawn chunks are always loaded, would the villagers be breeding over there if I'm not nearby? Huh, that's a good question. Let's go find out. Hey guys, so as you can see, there's an iron golem up here now. Uh, I did cut out about 20 minutes of me searching around just trying to figure out why the uh, villagers weren't spawning. And uh, it was really just kind of a waste of time, a waste of video, so I decided to cut it all out. And uh, this is actually the next night now, but uh, let me show you here. Uh, down here we do have 10 villagers now so I was able to bring a couple more over and uh, there was a bunch of babies down here at one point too so uh, we are good to go on this one so this farm's ready to go the one down below is working uh, and that's great so next I'm gonna be building that one up there I probably won't do that one on camera since I did the majority of this one on camera um, but what I am going to do too, uh, off camera, is probably take down all this scaffolding, the portal, and uh, completely block these guys in. Uh, this is working, so not much to uh, to do there. I mean, you know, deconstruct everything. <laughs> so, with that being said, I am going to show you the back of my head for no reason. Uh, oh, look, there's another one already. So, boom, spawn rates are pretty good. Uh, I'm getting a lot of iron downstairs, so that that's a really good thing. So I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, end the video here on the new sunrise coming up in the background there. And uh, next time, I'm not sure what I'm going to work on. I, I want to try to uh, conquer the uh, water temple, the uh, water monument. So that's a possibility, uh, but uh, I'll let you know next time what we're doing. So... Thanks for joining, guys, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.